The space I use is a artist studio above Greenwich Market. But when um, the studio is free and he's not using it, I can move furniture around and set up my white background and my studio lights and make it my own studio space. So although at first it does look quite a humble setting um, and not the, a large, glamorous studio location, it does get the work done and, and the portraits show that it doesn't matter where the photos are taken, the style is still the same and it, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the outcome. In a nutshell, outcome, it's portraits of people who are LGBT posed um, in their profession or hobby or passion holding their own childhood photo and, th and that's the key aspect of each portrait. Yeah. So, it, it, yeah, it's a fun, fun thing. A piece of as well. Fantastic. As a, a concept, it's a portrait that shows that you've grown up, you've gone through that coming out process. Sometimes it's not so good, sometimes it's absolutely fine, but I'm just saying that there's a life outside of the closet. <laughs> So I contacted people mainly just through uh, social media and arts jobs listings, just doing a blanket call out for people that are interested in you know, having their portrait taken for the, for the project. Some people I've approached specifically because of their profession or because of who they are, um, and then others have just been word of mouth through people that have had a portrait taken and know others that might want to get involved. So it's been quite um, self-led. Um, but relying on other people's word of mouth, which has been great. And yeah, so far everyone's been, been great, really enthusiastic to, to be part of the project. But then quite a few people say that they're not actually used to having their photo taken, but they like the, the concept of the project and that's why they're involved. So that's, you know, it's, it's a good, good feel for me as well. It's, the project is loved.